MetaMask tutorial, how to put in gas, cancel transactions, and more. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about the MetaMask uh, Google Chrome extensions and how you should behave in a gas war, where to see your gas estimates, and how to cancel transactions, or if you're stuck in a bad position, what move you should opt for. So let's get into it. First off, we are on the MetaMask homepage and MetaMask has updated their website and you can see it looks a lot different. If you scroll to the bottom, they even have a what is MetaMask video added and they provide a tutorial for all of their services as well. So uh, there are two basic reasons that people use MetaMask and first off is obviously for swapping and exchanging currencies, especially Ether. If you're using MetaMask, you, you probably will get the best price for what the extension does for you. It provides you with a lower gas estimate as compared to anything else. And you get a lot of uh, customization, you get a lot of automation in terms of swapping uh, Ether. After that, the new MetaMask update has included EIP1559. And this is a new feature that will allow you to pay off the transaction fees using Ethereum and that will burn off some ETH every time a transaction happens and thus it will inflate the price of ETH because the supply has been burned off. Now, this is a new mechanism that they have started and it's a new feature and there is a very good Twitter thread that explains this in very great detail. So there's this Twitter thread by the digital V and here he discusses everything about the new system, how to turn on advanced gas controls in MetaMask, how to uh, negotiate and work in a gas war strategy, and how to speed up your TXS. So this is a very nice guide and you can see over here everything is very thoroughly explained and it's in very simple and easy to understand terms so i will leave this um twitter thread in the description box below and you can view this and really take some notes because this is going to really help you out in terms of negotiating in gas wars and whatnot so you can see over here the base fee and the priority fee are going to end up becoming your total fee which is going to be obviously determined by you because you're going to be determining your own priority fees from now on so um Usually, if you leave the priority fees at the lowest bare minimum, um, you're going to either get a notification by MetaMask. So if we open our MetaMask over here, if we send some ETH, this is just a sample account, but if we were to send some ETH and we were to add a priority fee, uh, there's usually like this red box if you have a fee that is too less but if you just increase the amount to uh, where this red box does not appear you're probably not going to have any issues in terms of your priority fees and obviously the base fee is going to be set by the network itself now if you want to know more details about everything that has been updated you should definitely check out this thread i'm going to move on and show you guys the um, gas fee estimator so over here we have blocknative.com slash gas estimator and this is going to provide you with the gas estimation and you can see on the far left over here this is the priority fee that you're going to set if you want your block to move ahead if you want your transaction to be confirmed as soon as possible that's the current ongoing priority fee now this basically gives you a probability so even if you set a different number uh, it might be approved but this is a sure deal so if you want your transaction to be guaranteed you want to use this number that they are suggesting on blocknative.com because if you want your uh, transaction to move to the next block using any of these will um, make it a 99% probability or a 95% probability that your block is going to be moved. You can see this is uh, in terms of uh, highest to lowest priority. So there's a 70% priority even if you set it on 1.67. But obviously, if you want to make sure that your chances are the maximum that they could possibly be, then you want to opt for the far left gas estimation. Now, 
A block native really does provide gas estimations that are far less than gasnow.org. I have seen that gasnow can have a bit of a inflated price rate, so that's why I suggest block native over gas now, but gas now isn't too high as well. It's a generally good tool to use, but uh, block native really does uh, do its job a bit better. Now, if you move on to Etherscan, you can see over here that there are the current tax fees and you can see what they are currently going at. You can also see the current transactions and if you were to send a transaction and you think the gas fee has gotten out of control so maybe the gas fee is just too much and you don't want to pay that kind of money like 4.24 so if it's going too much and your transaction is not worth it there are two things that you can do in a situation like this first off you want to make sure that you view the current transactions that are happening at the current gas fees so you know what you are getting yourself into. After that, you can either cancel your transaction or you can transfer your ETH to yourself. So you can send your ETH that you are about to send and send them instead to the other person. You're going to send it back to yourself, but that can result in some issues, some errors. So it's usually best that you try to cancel your fee and cancel your transaction from moving to the next block and just wait out until the gas prices have settled down and they're back on their base level. So in terms of a gas war, you have two options and that's either to wait it out and not do any more further transactions until the gas war is over and you're gonna just uh, cancel your transaction and then you can either transfer your ETH to yourself if the cancellation fees or other fees are too high and you want your ETH as soon as possible, it's best if you just send the ETH back to yourself. So in terms of gas limits, now gas limits need to be set by MetaMask themselves. Whenever you're making a transaction, if you click on your MetaMask icon over here, extension, then the gas limit is going to be autofilled. And if the gas limit is not being autofilled, then you most certainly should not put in your gas limit. Because if you put in your own gas limit, it's very likely that you're going to be wiped out and it's going to use all of your gas. So make sure that the gas limit is autofilled obviously you can take a look at gasnow.org and then uh, estimate from there and then add your gas price to whatever is the current gas price but i would suggest you do not do that whatsoever that's probably going to wipe you out and you're going to have a failed transaction now if we take a look at the current transactions if you are buying a nft so if you're buying the nft and you put in two less gas so you can see these are some dummy transactions someone has made but if we refresh our page we're probably going to see some newer transactions and uh, if you if you're purchasing something and the transaction fees are increasing and you have put in two less guay so if the gas is gas is very less and it's going to probably tell you that it's going to take over an hour to confirm and you're going to have to wait for so long for your purchase and you're going to have no speeding up button so once you put in your gas you're not going to have any button to increase the amount of gas you can't add any gas afterwards or you can't uh, increase the speed by any method whatsoever so you have two options you can either cancel out your transaction so you're no longer gonna make that purchase or you can just wait for the time but I would suggest in a situation like that where you have to list gas and it's taking so long to approve your transaction you should just cancel the transaction altogether now the last option you have in a gas war where the fees have gotten outrageous and you really can't afford the gas price at the moment is to let your transaction fail and how you're going to do that is you can see these failed transactions that have just happened if we take a look at their details you're just gonna if you're in a gas war sending yourself ETH or canceling your transaction can sometimes become really pricey as well so the fees for that can also be pretty high in that situation you're gonna put, go on and purchase a product that is going to sell out so if you know the product is gonna sell out after EIP 1559 so whatever block it's currently present in 
so this transaction went through in seven blocks but if you know this transaction is going to sell out if product is going to sell out and the transaction is going to fail you're going to let it fail so in that situation you're going to let it move one or two blocks after one or two blocks your transaction is going to fail and you are going to get your money back so that is the last option or the last resort in a gas war so i hope you guys found this video helpful you're able to probably understand um using metamask and the different tools for crypto exchange and crypto transactions and you're able to estimate gas prices as well so you're able to negotiate that and work through how much gray you should use in each transaction and how much gray is going to be worth it for your time you also now know the uh, consequences of not putting in enough gray and also how to uh, back out if you are stuck in a gas war so if you're stuck and you need a way out i hope you guys can now do the steps that i told you and you can hurry out and move away from a very bad transaction so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will catch you guys in the next one